What's up, my fellow delinquents? Welcome to 8 Up Gaming. I'm your host, 8 Up, and today we're going to be ripping some Madden 23 packs. Specifically, we're going to be ripping the Coin Quick Sell packs and the Weekly Elite Fantasy pack. Show you guys just what kind of value you're going to be getting out of this for $100 and if it's worth it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Adup. For those who don't know me, which none of you do because this is the first video I've posted, uh, we're gonna be posting pack openings, gameplays, eBooks, pretty much everything that you're gonna need to get yourself where you wanna be in Madden 23, whether that's playing championships or just placing really well in weekend league or just straight up entertainment. Whatever you want, it's gonna be here. Please feel free to click the subscribe button. Without any further ado, let's get into these packs. All right, we're gonna start out with the first 12 Pro Elite packs. So here we go. All right. So for the first card, it's gonna be gold. I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a lot of golds, but I do think you get two elites out of this. Okay, 81, 81 corner. Don't actually think I even know who that is. All right, Devin McCourty, there's an okay pull. So nothing too crazy out of that first pack. I'm really hoping I can get at least 187. If not an 87 coin quick sell, that would make my day. 82 DJ Reed Jr. All right, skip the animation. An 80 Dondre Smith. Swift, excuse me. <laughs> All right. All right, we did get one rookie card as well. The rookie cards this year are looking a little more rare than in years past. So if you get one of those, I highly recommend you hold on to it or you sell high. Uh, they're not nearly as common this year, so just be aware of that. All right, there's an 83, okay. Left tackle, we'll take that. All right, Patrick Sertain. Oh, ooh, quad, elite pack. You don't see that very often. Look at that, perfect. Casey Hayward Jr. as well. All right, here we go. Pretty happy with that one. All right, a couple goals. Another rookie card, 82. All right, what do we get? 81, Anthony Harris, okay. All right. Starting off with an elite here. We're gonna get Fred Warner at 87 overall. What a pull, let's go. What is that, like four or five packs in? Come on, man, that's awesome. And an 83, Brian Allen. Okay, let's go. These packs are looking a little juiced, guys. I might have to tell you to buy them. All right, we're gonna go triple elite. Kyle Juszczyk, 84. All right, these packs are on something because I don't ever pull this good. All right. Starting out with gold card, gold card. Ooh, rookie card, we'll take that. All right, what are we gonna get for our next elite? Leighton Vander Esch, that's an okay pull. We'll take that, we take those, we take those. Daniel Carlson, get a kicker. Those always go for some decent gold right in the beginning of the game. All right. Leonard Fournette, not a terrible pull. He'll probably get an upgrade. And Eric Rowe, okay, we'll take that, 82 overall. As long as we're not seeing consistent 80s and 81s, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you just you just hate to see 80s, 80s, 1s. I mean, even 82s, but we'll take those. It's the first day of Madden, so I'm not complaining. Speak of the devil, there's an 80. All right, we're going to just push right past that. And an 81, okay, I might have jinxed myself completely on this. So I don't know if all the juice is going to be gone, but we'll find out. All right, and our next elite is an 80, okay. All right, I totally might have jinxed myself on that one. We're just gonna keep pushing through it. Justin Houston, 84 power rusher, we will take that. We will definitely take that. And another rookie card. I said they're rare and I'm pulling tons of rookie cards. We take those though. All right, just a couple pro elite fantasy packs left here. We'll see what we finish up with. All right, 80 overall kicker. That's gonna be a sell for sure. But uh, a couple gold cards here, nothing really fancy. What are we gonna end the pack with? An 83, we'll take that. 
Linebackers this year, they're saying they're still not going to be quite what everybody wishes they were, still can't jump. Uh, so we will figure out uh, who we're going to keep, who we're going to get rid of. Rookie card and Robert Quinn, 80 overall. And we get Jair Alexander. So I've actually got a lot of beef with this card right here. If you go into his attributes, 82 speed, 85 man coverage, 80 press. So not a terrible card for an 83, but isn't he ranked like the second best corner in the NFL right now? And they've got him at 82 speed, 85 man coverage. I mean, I, I, get, I understand they can't make a game breaking card right from the beginning, but he's got an X factor in the regular game. I think they know they're disrespecting him a little bit. Hopefully he gets an upgrade here soon. Overall, still happy with the pick though, or with the pull. All right, let's see what else we get. Another rookie card, dude. We are on fire with these rookie cards right now. And a 73. All right. Starting off with a gold, 74. 73. 72. We're just going in descending order. 79, we'll take that. Give me an 83. Give me an 83. All right, we'll take an 83. Let's go. Brian Allen again. We'll take that. Give me an 84. Ah, I got greedy. That's an 80. And that looks like the last Pro Elite Fantasy Pack. Overall, not a bad value for what you're getting. I mean, realistically, you don't even really buy the pack for those for those packs or the bundle, excuse me. You're buying, buying them for this, the 80 overall platinum player. And that's, that's really where you're gonna make your money. So everything else is kind of just extra. We'll take that. We got an 87 uh, pull out of there, Fred Warner. Pretty happy with that overall. Let's see what we can pull out of these 80 overall uh, platinum packs here. All right, we are starting off with an 84 Calais Campbell. We will take those any day of the week. Let's go. All right, next pull is going to be another 84. Okay, these packs are kind of juiced. Let's go. Let's go. Give me an 85. It's going to be an 80 here. Watch. 82. I'll take an 82 over an 81 or an 80 any day of the week. We're happy with that. We're happy with that. So far, these have been okay. 81. As long as it's not an 80, you're not going to hear me complain. Not right now, at least. Big pull here. Come on, let's go. 83, we'll take an 83. Pretty happy with that too. All right, and the next pull, 85, Matthew Judon. Dude, we take those. These packs are juiced. If you are wondering if you should be, spend the $100, whatever it is, I recommend you do. These have been fired so far. Let's see what else we got here. A little YouTube luck for the first video and then I pull an 80. All right, I need to stop jinxing myself because I'm totally screwing myself here. And we get another 80. All right. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's going on now. Totally jinxed myself. Another 80, we'll take it though. Let's see how many we've got left. Five platinum players left. Let's see if we can get a, a huge pull. I would love another 85 plus. 82, we'll take it. Better than an 80. Keep her moving, keep her pushing. And an 83, Chris Godwin, we'll take that. I mean, we'll take 83s, 84s, we'll take an 87, whatever you wanna throw us, yeah, we'd appreciate it. 81, and we have two packs left. Let's see if we can go, come in clutch here, get one more big pull, another 81. Can we summon a little YouTube luck? Let's see if we can. Last pull for the platinum players. Let's see what we get. Another 81. Overall, I mean, hey, we started off really hot, pulled a couple of 84s, 85s, got a few 83s. You know, 82 below, it is what it is. Anything's better than an 80. I think they quick sell for like 9,000 coins. Not really worth it, but moving into the weekly elite fantasy pack, show you what kind of value you're gonna get out of that this year. JJ Watt is an 80 overall. Wow, that is, that is insane. So 280 overalls to start, and our quick sell is gonna be an 81 to Sean Watson. Obviously gonna roll with that. We've got two more of these to open up. All right, second weekly elite fantasy pack here. Starting off with an 83 CD Lamb and an 83 to Forrest Buckner. Both of those are pretty decent. Let's see what the CD Lamb card's got going on. 
All right, 83 speed, 81 jumping, 83 catching. Okay, so he's got good route running stats. I mean, he's hitting he's hitting the presumed thresholds, 82, 81. Doesn't quite, quite have the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. He actually hits all the route running thresholds. Look at that. I mean, Seeding Lamb is kind of a decent card. I'm not gonna lie, he's a little slow, but overall, I mean, he hits all the, the route running thresholds that you're looking for early. And we get an 82 Ezekiel Elliott Platinum card. We're gonna roll with the Z card just because it's quick coins, guaranteed value. Not quite sure what the prices are gonna be for these cards uh, in the coming days, man. It's always kind of funny the first, especially three days until the rest of the people get the uh, get the game. Starting out the uh, Pro Elite Fantasy Pack with an 80 overall Byron Jones. Kind of disrespectful if you ask me. And 80 overall Darnell Savage. And our first coin quick sell is going to be an 83 at Oliver. We'll take that. And skip it. All right, an 80. Maybe that was a little bit of bad luck there. All right, let's tally all of them up and see just what kind of value you're going to get out of these packs. So once I've got all these tallied up, all the coin quick sells ready to be sold, I'll see you back. All right, guys, welcome back. I've got all the coin quick sells tallied up, taking into account the 83, the 82, and the 80 overall that I pulled. They're not the exact same cards, but they're still the same value, so it doesn't really matter. All of the coin quick sells that I got from the first pack are gonna tally up to 326K, and that's just the coin quick sells alone. I mean, realistically, you get some nice pulls, you get some lucky pulls, you're looking at at least 500,000 coins out of this, out of this pack. For 100 bucks, I mean, is it cheap? No, but to start the year with 500,000 coins for $100, it's not terrible. And if you pre-ordered the game and you've got 4,600 points loaded up on it, which should be coming out tonight, so, and I believe these packs are available for the next few days, you're spending 50 bucks, you're starting out with 500K. I mean, that's not bad at all. Highly recommend, definitely should buy the pack. Thank you guys for watching the video. First video ever, so please leave any comments, criticisms, anything I did well, anything you want to see go, you know, please subscribe, like the video, and you know, just tell me how I did down in the comments. Appreciate you guys. Stay delinquent.